All right, so Thanksgiving is done, and despite my protests, the world is just fast-forwarded straight to Christmas. Folks are getting their holiday decorations out. Down in San Jose, they officially lit the city's massive Christmas tree not long ago. Kelsey Thord is at Christmas in the Park. She spoke with one woman using that celebration to celebrate someone very special to her. Well, it is officially that time of year, and what better way to kick off the holidays than spending it down here in San Jose at Christmas in the park. So many families make this a holiday tradition every single year. Tonight, we caught up with one family who has a very special reason for coming this year. For Samantha Knapp, Christmas in the park is more than just a fun holiday festival. It's a family tradition. They have snow that tastes like cinnamon. Um, it's like foam, and that's like the thing that I've remembered the most since my childhood. Samantha says her dad, Doug, was obsessed with Christmas and made sure the entire family attended the festival every year. We came out here and ice skated every year, and my dad would bring a whole bunch of his friends, and everyone in our family would come by um, just as a big group. Because of that, Christmas in the Park has always held a special place in Samantha's heart. But this year, it holds an even greater meaning. Um, this one, every year we go and cut down a Christmas tree in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Ooh, so fun. we um, that was just from one of those years. This was the year that my dad proposed to my mom, um, Santa. He was dressed as Santa when he did it at 2 in the morning. Samantha's dad passed away. To honor him, she decorated this memorial tree. It's one of more than 500 trees at the festival that make up its enchanted forest, a program allowing groups to decorate and display a Christmas tree at the event all month long. It just being able to bring him back into my life in different ways throughout the year has been really nice to be able to incorporate him in my everyday lives. Um, I wear rings to remind myself of him, but being able to see it with the public also being able to view it has been really nice. Samantha told me it's been different coming to Christmas in the park without her dad, but she's thankful to be able to honor him at the event he cherished so much. She's now taking the torch from him, continuing that legacy of bringing together family and friends for nights of holiday joy. And if you want to come out here and see Samantha's tree yourself, you of course can do that all month long. All of these trees will be here through this entire festival, which ends on January 1st.